Now let's continue with question number 6. Reduce x squared minus 16 over 8x minus 2x squared to lowest terms. So let's try to factor this as much as we can, starting with x squared minus 16. That is a difference of squares. Some people know them as differences of two squares. And what can we do? We take an x over here, another one over there. The square root of 16 is 4, so we can add a 4, and we can take it away over here. x plus 4 times x minus 4. What about down below? Can I factor this? Yes, I can. And how can I do that? Well, let's factor out a 2x. That is the greatest common factor here. 8x divided by 2x is 4. And negative 2x squared divided by 2x is negative x. Fantastic. Now, can we cancel these out? Not yet. What do we need to do first? Well, they're still not the same, because we have 4 minus x versus x minus 4. But I'm going to make this an x minus 4. But how? Well, let me just copy this down. And if I factor out a negative 1 from the 4 minus x, now the 2x is just going to wait patiently outside. If I factor out a negative 1, I will basically switch the signals inside. 4 divided by negative 1, negative 4, negative x divided by negative 1, plus x. Now, I'll copy x plus 4 times x minus 4 up top again. Down below, I have 2x times negative 1, negative 2x. And negative 4 plus x is the same as x minus 4. Now I can cancel them out. And they're gone. So, we're left with x plus 4 over negative 2x. Which is equivalent to negative x plus 4 over 2x. So essentially I'm just making the fraction, the whole fraction negative. And... <clears throat> Sorry, and this would be the answer. C, negative x plus 4 over 2x.